Are you ready for some, some Guilty Gear? Yeah. Oh, pretty good. This is going to be great. I'm super stoked to be here. Thank you for having me. And, you know, we're playing Rev 2, so it's a good day. It's simple as that. Oh, most definitely. I haven't been at the Casa in a while, so I'm happy to be back. Yeah, this is my oh. first time up to bat here. I'm super excited. I mean, it's going to be fun, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this is going to be sick. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? We're, we're pretty relaxed over here. You know, everyone's welcome at the Casa. Yeah, yeah so take it easy. You guys might have a uh, stream sound now? I, uh, may or may um, not on the restream? That one I actually don't know. Negative. Negative. All right. Oh, muted or remind. <clears throat> I don't know. But yeah, so I mean, right now, uh, you guys, Bubba EX is the Raven player, I imagine. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's going to be Bubba. And then it should be, I'm imagining Jason Riot as the sole player. Yeah. Oh, because it, cause all I see is Katakana. Yeah. Dark <laughs> yeah. blue Katakana, that's Jason. <laughs> it's like, I was like, hmm. It's like, I don't know what that says. Okay. That, that's a that's a dead giveaway, right? Like you were yeah. talking about, you know, we were watching the match on before this, and it was the the really, you know, radiant Slayer costume color. And you were like, oh, that's clearly oh. Crocs and Socks. Well, yeah. if you can't read the name, it's clearly Jason Riot. Yeah, that's all you need. It's, it's so mm -hmm. cool how expressive this game is, where you just need a color and a few seconds of footage, and you can kind of piece together who's who. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I I think um. Especially in like well the anime community in general, but like Guilty Gear as well, right? Like everyone has their own color and whatnot. So you're like, oh, I know, I know this person, and and they do, they do certain things as well. Like say say if you if you're watching Manny Blaze, the red and black raven, always. Well, that is what Manny wears with all of his characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Jason is the dark blue soul, right? That's mm -hmm. become very identifiable. It's a lot of stuff like that. And it's cool that that's kind of a, a thing that's shared across regional scenes and across the oceans as well. Everyone's yeah. in on it. Yeah, it's like, I, I think more of the, some of the more famous players, right? They tend to have their own color. And people don't really encroach on that. They're like, all right, that's their color. Mm -hmm. They've earned that. It's kind of messy when someone's like known for the default color because everyone else <laughs> has just got to hold that. Well, have... Is it? Can't you just do a, a color match then? Like I know it, it's a Smash. Like I learned about color matches in for Smash Brothers, right? Like there's the the Leffen versus uh, yeah, chilling dude, you know, Fox <laughs> yes. color match. But like you know, could we bring that to other titles like this? That'd be kind oh, of man. Sick, and you lose your color forever. Oh no! <laughs> it, until you win it back, stage. right? So you win it back. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. Like I've yeah, been, like, um... I've been watching uh, Gundam. Uh, Witch of Mercury or whatever it is, yeah, and like they just duel for everything. It's like, all right, let's let's do that one with fighting games, right? <laughs> everything will be resolved with a first to one hundred. No <laughs> more no argument. Left. Now you know what I like your color more. I'll tell you, um, one of my friends, um, because and 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 Rev, I play I play um Elfel, right? When he played Elfel, he didn't play like any color specifically. He played the 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 same color color. Oh, so right. for whatever color you picked, he picked the same color, and you get the same color. Mm -hmm. Color. Some of those mirror colors are honestly pretty awesome. Kai's is amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those some pretty good. Oh. Ones. I think Jams is cool. I think I think like with every iteration of like of Exer, they changed it to be something slightly different. I think, oh, interesting. The, I think the previous when when it was Exer, that previous same um, mirror color became an actual color. That you could pick. Oh, gotcha. And then he switches something else. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. A little bit, a little bit of palette lore. Mm-hmm. See, hmm. this matchup was interesting in general, yeah. especially since Raven could do that. Yeah, this is going way slower than you'd expect to. I mean, Jason's a pretty kind of slow-paced player in general, mm -hmm. and yeah. then Bubba's just good at slowing things down to boot. So this is just kind of maximum who does something first. Yeah, I feel like both these characters kind of want to eventually steamroll you, so nobody wants to make the first mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can see, I think you can kind of see Jason's bias towards plus R, where he's a little caught off guard by stuff like Raven's teleport dash. Like, you know, Slayer has that in Exert and plus R, but there's just some, some nuances that need more adjustment to deal with. Yeah. Plus, um, yeah, the the, the stance as well. Mm -hmm. Like, 
do do moves, it gets absorbed, and then you YRC that or to to get a full punish, which just happened right there. Like glow nuances like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, great jump in the wall. Oh wow. Yeah, Bubba has been playing it pretty smart on defense, just kind of making it out of all these situations. Jumping the wild throw, blocking mm. the dive kick, it's all working out. Base up, base up the burst, too, with the stance. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Yeah, oh, and there's the teleport to actually be on, yes. Oh, OTG couldn't spin meter to kill, but there we go. Yeah, Bubba's on, Bubba's on. There's no need to sweat. Yeah, I mean, Raven's not an easy matchup, either. Results. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, even even with the unique movement that he has, where it, like it tracks you, it doesn't really IED the other end of the screen, kind of thing, right? It, it's it's awkward to deal with, and then then you kind of have to deal with his set plays because of, with the delayed um, air dashes. So mm -hmm. depending on what he presses, is he gonna land sooner and things like that? There's little nuances too, like that you that you really have to play the matchup to, to know where sure. he is. And because Soul is kind of small, he can't really trap Raven in the corner. Because some characters can just kind of stand there, and Raven's like, all right, I guess I'm in the corner now because I can't air dash over you. Yeah. But Soul kind of just doesn't have to deal with that. I think um, yeah. I think 2D is pretty good in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I, well, Soul's 2D is pretty good in general. Because of yeah. a little profile, but I, th I think it's generally good in this matchup. I think there are, there are a couple of things he can 2D under, like, like a bar 5s and whatnot yeah and it's active enough to kind of be worth sticking out during those possible like teleport dash situations soul has got yeah. a lot going for him for sure yeah oh my god and that jump heavy speaking of things going for soul that button is ridiculous <laughs> does it does it have a whip animation like does it have whip recovery not really sure that button is beyond my comprehension it's like that in every game they're like Zero yeah. frames of recovery. Sounds good. Let's let it yeah. run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it's like 100% active throughout the whole move. 100% active. Mm -hmm. When not active, no recovery. Too powerful. Yeah. I know. And then, I, and then, like, it has a tendency to, like, it's disjoint, disjointed, too. And then it has a tendency to, like, clash mm -hmm. at, 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 like, those ranges anyway. So even if even if it could trade or lose, it would, it would just clash. Yeah, that button is the bane of everyone's existence at least once. Everyone gets, you know, try to anti-air soul, danger time, die to, like, mm -hmm. dive kick or whatever. Mm -hmm. It happens. I mean, yeah, th this is definitely a, a cool version of... It's not definitely not the mo the strongest version of soul in Exerid, right? But, but, but what they settled on was pretty good. Yeah, this is kind of like the, the essence of soul. Kind of simple, kind of straightforward. He doesn't have crazy frame advantage. He doesn't have any really ludicrous tools other than his defensive options. But everything's pretty good, and it accentuates the kind of read heavy stuff. He's cool. He's so sick in this game. <clears throat> yeah. I, I mean, this all just kind of has, like, all the options anyway. So, like, like the, the way that you're supposed to play him anyways, like, I, I felt like this version of Soul made the most sense than the... The original version of Exert, so mm -hmm. where, he, where he was like, I forgot, I think it was like plus five, half, and there is, and then like, and the, the three frames, and like, I, I believe it's like five frame, frames. Yeah, and they slowed it version. down. Five and seven. Mm -hmm. But, um, but, but like, and, and then even, even with, 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 when it was like plus two, um, Fafnir, then like, you know, three frame like it is super strong, you can't challenge things like that. Yeah, Soul's pressure structure is so cool because he's built around like very small frame advantage, and you can keep stuff tight but unrewarding, or mm -hmm. you can try to push a little harder to get more out of that situation. It's a really cool dynamic. Yeah, like uh, I mean, yeah, the, uh, like I always felt the way he's, he's designed is that you have to try to lie to people. Yeah. In a way, I, I mean, in general, at the highest levels of play, you see what you can get away with. You you keep it safe. You know, and then you throw in a little something different. Oh, he's not checking that? All right. Let's see what else I can do. And then when they start checking it, at, then, they, then you start making it real. Mm -hmm. So, so, and, but Soul is completely built around that, that whole premise. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really rough burst from Jason and Bubba <laughs> taking that. Yeah, and, and Raven is notoriously difficult to burst. It, it, like, it's 2D, 
low profile. So I mean, most two Ds at max range won't get hit with a burst anyways in this mm-hmm. game. But I, I feel like Ravens two D, he'll do like like a two K two D, and that was burst save. Yeah, <laughs> all the multi hits. He has really good option selects against burst. A lot of jump mm-hmm. cancels. Oh yeah, especially especially when they're when they're doing like J heavies anyways in the combo. That like oh, oh you're gonna God, get your yeah. your burst grabbed. <laughs> And then you yeah. get your burst grabbed. He gets Oki afterwards, and now you got to you got to take fifty fifties. One of the uh, the it's... first people I ever played with. He was a Raven player, my first like real training partner. Mm. And we went through a couple sets, and I burst every different part of an air combo and had it blocked every time. And I'm like, can I burst that? He's like, no, stop it. Yeah, like right. yeah, some people won't tell you that. Mm. Um, it's fun- funny enough, like um. I played I played someone in tournament. Well, it's Zelda, though. It's a completely different character, right? Mm-hmm. But like I'm I'm hitting him with combos, right? But he never bursted. But I'm doing burst safe routes mm-hmm. completely. And then he was like, but the combo looked weird. Because it was a brown combo. It was like dash punch punch shoot, dash punch punch shoot. Oh, like yeah, yeah. And then and so so he was like, I wasn't going for max damage, but I was always getting Oki afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. And then he was like, after after um well, I won, right? But after I won, he was like, yo, was that all that burst safe? I was like, yeah, it was good that you didn't burst. <laughs> so, like, he's like, he's like, at least there's that. Mm-hmm. The mind games run deep, too. Like, if you show someone a burst safe combo and they recognize it, you can scare them off of bursting from an entire set. Mm-hmm. It's really, really powerful. Well, definitely, like, um, and and then, like, also the, the mind gaming of of, are you not going to burst mm-hmm. during during a combo? Because because you can definitely be like, all right, I'm good. I'm definitely gonna die from this combo, but but they know I'm gonna die. So so then someone will try to be like, oh, they'll drop a combo on purpose and give you a second chance. And then now you can like, oh, now you got options. You can burst regularly. You can go burst. Get the meter you need. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a whole bunch of uh, different things you can do. Yeah, I remember. I, I suffer from burst thirst in general. I love throwing them, I love blocking them, but I go for it too hard. But the set that got me to stop going for it was <laughs> Lord Knight versus Azato at, I want to say, Frosty Faustlings, maybe? Mm-hmm. And it's literally just the Zato dropped everything to hard bait burst, and it mm-hmm. never came. And I'm I was not, like, dude, you're throwing. I, I'm not a, I'm actually not a fan of hard baiting burst. Like, I've done it before when I don't really have a choice. Mm-hmm. Like, but um or or like if i got like a counter hit wait honestly if i get like a counter hit and i'm getting a combo meterless i'm almost never baiting because like i didn't spend any resources to get that damage mm-hmm. so i'm like yo you better burst this because i'm I'm taking this this damage for free this is a free damage mm-hmm. right now so at that point i i don't ever i don't ever bait on those i'm like yeah what this is so early Still, you, yeah, I'll, I'll take the extra damage I got. Well, maybe I'm getting like 100 because mm-hmm. you burst a part of the combo, and then, like, whatever. I took your, your bursts out of the way. I, I took like, you know, 10% or something like that, 20, 15%. Whatever. Mm-hmm. That was free damage. But, like, yeah. when it's situations where I don't have any meter and I'm like, oh man, this sucks right now. Like, I really need to get a knockdown or something like that. Then I'm like, I'll try to do something burst save for like, but I re- I'm really not a fan of like baiting hard. Yeah, it's just a good way to punch holes in your own game plan if you get too yeah. eager with it. I think so too. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's cool to do it every now and again, right? Yeah. But like, if your whole game revolves around it, then you you always leave damage on the table. Yeah, for sure. I know. For right, me, we, at least, we we had oh, nothing going on, so I, I had to do the colors. But we got we got Bubba back on stream. Uh, nice. nice. So they're going up against uh, Yosurugi. Uh, hold on. Um, it like froze. Oh, I see that. Mm. I think the star GG froze, or the, the. Okay. I think yeah. We might get bodied by Twitch ads in a second, but that's fine. Oh, it happens. Yep. Check out Xbox Sad. Series Yo. S, the Shout future of the Xbox. FGC. Xbox Game Pass, uh, sponsor us if you get the chance. Thanks. Uh, you know what's what hilarious about that too? Like, um, I'm trying to switch to like BIOS, right? And then, mm-hmm. and they're, I think one of the deals they're giving away one. 
Yeah, you can get an Xbox. I was actually literally just looking at it last night. I know. I was like, I was like, that looks affordable. Just, just the deal. I was like, mm, that's good. That's pretty cool. I got a whole system too. Mm. It's not a bad deal, especially if you can get like the fiber connection. Yeah. Although you're you're in New York, right? So I know that yeah. I know that like Art was having issues with his FiOS connecting to other people. Really? But he Whoa. like for like Street Fighter Five specifically. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, like we would have issues sometimes, like you know, where he'd be trying to connect and it would just lag out. But he'd be playing like Shine, or like um, really, Shine is like in Long Island. Yeah, like it was literally like the same city, and there'd be lag. Um, One second, I gotta messing with something back to my hard drive. Oh, that's fine. But he also he said he was on like some experimental like two or experimental. Three, yeah, like some two or three gigabyte fiber Whoa. connection. And I was like, Jesus, that's wild. The, yeah, the top secret, like, Area 51 internet. I need to call and find out about the experimental internet. Experimental fiber optic. Heard about five gigs? What about eight gigs? Oh. Nobody's ready. This no is ready. the future. You don't even need a phone anymore. It just They beam it. The, the text message into your eyes. Mm-hmm. You just feel it. You know what they said. <laughs> I feel the whole message. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're driving and all of a sudden you feel angry. Mm. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> it happens. It's like worse than a sneeze while driving. It's just like you just get overcome by like the message and it's like, oh, drive off the drive off the bridge. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You get fired in this text message. Oh. <laughs> I, Imagine just feeling that apropos of nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of nowhere, middle of your day. You're like, Actually, all right. Like it doesn't, it's in your eyes, so it doesn't display the message. You just get the emotion. And then, mm-hmm. like, you get like a, a voice memo that's like, when you park, read your texts. And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh. <laughs> what could possibly have gone wrong? Why am I so angry? <laughs> could happen to anyone. <laughs> also, oh, hold man. on. Yosagi on Milia? What? Isn't Yosagi a Johnny gamer? Um, yeah. Alright, welcome to the Milia era. Well, <laughs> I don't know, maybe just for fun. I mean, if I were a Johnny player, I don't, I, you would have to forcefully pick another character for me. You know, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I'm an Elfo player, you'd have to forcefully pick another character for me. Like, yeah, I mean, oh. I'm a Venom player. You cannot take that character from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, most most Guilty Gear players are are true to their one character. You know, mm-hmm. there's not it's not a lot of uh, whilst most all have like a pocket, but not even a pocket, more like a fun character. That they yeah, do. it's it's just like oh, that's not my tournament character, not really. It was my fun character, right? And then this is my main. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe what we're seeing is like the the fun character has just kind of spilled over into being the tournament character here, because that's maybe. that's happened with me. Oh, maybe maybe it's just a matchup thing. Yeah, could be matchups. <laughs> could be simply for fun, you know. Yeah, but either I'm, way, oh. the million is looking good. I mean, the this is also still too. the latter portion, so like this could mm-hmm. be like the for fun character. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, Melia's pretty buff, though, in any case. I know Japan has considered her, you know, to generalize a little bit, Japan has considered her top tier for a very long time in this I game. Think, I, I think um, this might have been the first time in this game, where, well, in Rev 2, where she wasn't top tier, or considered to be, like, like really high. In comparison, mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the tier list looks like now. But when I when when I was actively like playing in tournaments, like all the pre COVID, I should say, right? Like the the tier list looked very different for him. I'm not sure what if anything changed major. She does have like some really still has some really good set play options. So that might have like like pushed her up slightly, mm-hmm. right? But um and and obviously you know pin. Like she has things in this game that she doesn't have in Strive. You got to bring up Strive, the comparison between the characters, right? Mm-hmm. Like. Like Strive, she doesn't have like a free, uh, almost free get in. Pin is, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping neutral now. Right? Yeah, Pin, Secret Garden. Once she has offense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, and and then a lot of times, 
you gotta you gotta choose like how you deal with it because like you might have to save meter so that you mm -hmm. can like dead angle to get out of oh, like like usually when you play it you're like oh, i'm not gonna use meter any for anything but dead angle and then mm -hmm. save your burst for that one time i'm gonna get out the otg burst yeah. to make sure that you're not gonna get baited things like that mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of like contingency plans that you need when you're fighting this matchup yeah for sure <clears throat> Also, oh my god, Yosagi spent 100 meter to do one mix-up, and it did like 50% damage. <laughs> yeah, Billy is brutal in this game. Yeah, like, like it's the movement, too. Like, the movement, pin turns every every Abari situation, well, not Abari, but every air-to-air -air situation to knock down, mm -hmm. things like that. She has a lot of burst save options, too, and then they do a lot of, like, like fake-outs, like... Uh, one of my favorite ones when I first saw it, I thought it was weird, but then I was like, "Oh, it, it looks weird," but I know what it what it's for. Like when they knock you down and they do they do the heavy disc, and then they super jump, but they don't oh, air dash. So yeah. That you so you're like, "All right, if you try to burst or anything like that, then then you're like, oh, what options do I do?' Because like you could hit them, you know, technically mm -hmm. it's not meaty, but then if you try to do that, he's not there." Yeah, it's then, such a hard base. She's like, I'm out, right? Like this, it's you and the disc now. Whatever mm -hmm. happens is between you two. Exactly. And then, and then now you got to block the disc. And now she's falling. And either she's gonna air dash really late, or she's gonna go low on you and things like that. I'm like, oh. And then you 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 feel like you screwed yourself. You're like, I could have got out because they gave me the out, and I just didn't take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Melia has so many ways to make you feel dumb, <laughs> which is like. She she has the real stuff for your you know you get hit and you're like it happens it's Melia she mm -hmm. has the more advanced stuff and she has stuff where she can just make it your problem and if you don't deal with it you're gonna have a really bad time mm -hmm. she's got it all yeah and then a lot of it too is like not very committal so so mm -hmm. like especially that one where you just super jump and you just let her rock she could always just air dash away and then be safe right so so it's not like our if she if she makes like a hard read on your there's not like oh I'm making a super hard read in your mix up not not all the time I mean there's always the TK Bat Moon without meter mm -hmm. in some of the space but that's when you're really feeling yourself or you really want to mess with them right yeah but then you don't have to play that way yeah she can just do so much and she supports so many styles yeah you can do anything with her she's super cool yeah I think a big recent <clears throat> innovation as well has been. Players have been finding more and more consistent conversions into Secret Garden Oki. Because mm. before it used to be like, you know, that's kind of your white whale. That's the perfect knockdown that you can really run everything off of. Mm. But more recently, in North Plus Art and Edge, more people have been more secret than they can. So a lot more good places. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, I, I wouldn't say that. I would not say that I had the best tracker. <laughs> Right. And then he knocked me down. Yeah, um, like hover dashes into vertical chemical love YRC. What did he right? I blocked yep. that. I blocked it, right? Then he does vertical chemical love YRC again. Yep. And then he goes for like <laughs> double hop, empty jump low. And I'm like, he hates me. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the contempt in really a player when they run mix ups on you. It's like, it's personal, I guess. I don't know what I did wrong, but I guess it's personal. I know. Oh, yeah, I was like, I was like, bro, I was like, yo, who's blocking that? <laughs> yeah, it's demonic. We get some real huge stuff, and I mean, of course, there's jump dust, the sledge. Yeah. Her vertical jump to love is double digits plus, by the way. I believe it's around plus fifty. Oh my god, yeah, it's ridiculous. It might even be more than that, but I think, I think plus fifty is a safe answer on my part. And <laughs> yeah. Yep. Smart. Hedge your bets. Hedge your bets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck dealing with what happens after. But yeah. yeah.
We saw some Eno gaming right there. That was pretty textbook. <laughs> Definitely, and and then she's not um for for players with weak hands. Oh no, yeah, her execution. She will, cool. she will definitely test your wrists on on both sides, on offense and on defense. She'll test oh, yeah. your wrists. Yeah, I mean, in a long set, there is a very real risk. You get purple tunnel from just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes, the block. Yes. yes. She will run you ragged. Alright, but... Let's see if, um... And the thing is, Raven doesn't really have, like, traditional reversals. He has, like, this hand, which can be used. And, and he has, you know, a reversal that everybody pretty much has. They're super, you know? They're overdrive. And, yeah. and back dashes and stuff like that. But, I'm like, Raven gets knocked down. You gotta trust the deep. Yeah, and even Blitz is not that helpful because, again, you know, she's primarily yeah. running high low. Mm. Alright, there's a mm. all Yeah, there's the dead angle. Right, yeah, wow, that was great. Crouches under the HCL. Really yeah, smart. That, that was a, yeah, that was a really good dash to pick, pick him for up. Will this be something? The blocks, the air dash. Get the they kept it really safe, dude. There's a lot of respect in that pressure. Yeah, it's not like Eno can scramble that hard, except for the chemical gloves, which you've always got to pay respect to. Oh, yeah. Off the yeah, ground, um, almost instantly. Like, huge projectile. Um, what, what's the Raven Slayer's name again? This is. I believe this is Bubba. Yeah. It's Paul oh, Bubba? Yeah. Uh, am I saying it right? Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, like okay, Bubba cool. Gum Shrimp. Okay, cool. Bubba, alright. Cool. Yeah, like Bubba was lucky not in a lot of situations where like Chaz minus it was actually trying to take his verse <laughs> with, with like a reset. What, so when you, you, you I know this because I've been hit by it before, right? So I know not the verse there. But when he was IEDing in the combos, that YRC that was happening, that was like that only that's only supposed to happen if like something with like like a verse happens. And then yeah, and then like and he's messing up the command grab. So you, you left that like at least three times from one count. Oh, nice goes low. Nice. Okay. On the board. Ah, but this is a, this is a, this is definitely a match of those that Chaz is familiar with. Chaz plays against Manny Blaze quite a bit. Yeah. The region stuff is really important here. Yeah. A lot of matching experience. And you can also oh. see a lot of that respect in the round server. They just put back to action. Yeah. Alright, that was a really good block thing. Gets out of the corner. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a dust. I was about to call it a charge dust. Too much fry. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as charge dust in this game. It's the only one. Yeah. Important first design of the town, but you know, it's right back in there. Um, the game sound is like really loud. Okay. Like yeah, yeah it's, it is. It is definitely a very loud game. I will. Yeah. I will say that. I mean, I, I enjoy it, and I, I I enjoy a lot of the tracks too. That was like chips, I believe, right? Listen, I, I'm not trying to give y'all tinnitus, so you know we'll just <laughs> we'll, we'll turn that down. No worries on our end. Wait, no, because like he, the thing is, when I was talking. I was, I was like, I was like, when you that's when I said, is did you say Bubba? Because I couldn't hear it. Oh, uh, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so it should be turned down for you guys specifically. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> and here we go. We're back. Nice. Cool. Cool. Have any y'all been messing with um? I know it's a completely different game. But SF6 um demo. I haven't yet. I haven't had the chance. I have not had the time. Honestly, I am. <clears throat> also, here's the other thing. I'm not particularly stoked to play either Ryu or Ken, right? Well, I mean, it was Ryu and Luke, but Luke, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess that applies too. <laughs> so Luke, all right. I actually forgot about that because Luke, I am somewhat interested to play, but yeah. I'm more interested in playing Cami and Marissa, who that's fair aren't in and they won't be in the open beta uh, next weekend either. Yeah. So. <laughs> I played 
both the closed betas, and I was pretty dead set on Jamie. I mm. love how Jamie feels. Mm -hmm. That character feels so good. You just press standing medium kick into drive rush, and the game plays itself. It's like yeah. it's, it's like it's like max out. mode. It, it's like KOF max mode is what mm -hmm. it feels like. It's like oh wow, you mean to tell me I get to throw out this limb the size of Arkansas and I get to play the game for free? That's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> No, and his and some of his conversions are super cool. I think it's so sick how he can convert off of his um, not the critical art, but the normal level three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get the you get the the drive rush afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not sure what the the max damage is, but I've definitely seen the drive rush conversions afterwards. <laughs> There's some gnarly stuff. I'm excited for mana. It's uh, what we've had fighting games for 36 years, and we finally have a cool grappler. It's time. Mm -hmm. I'm a grappler hater. Oh, yeah. Just a uh, part of yeah, the course. Um, I'm intrigued by the character design. The anti-air options, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vacuuming normal. You know, flashbacks to old Potemkin. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, I think both are her crouching heavy punch. You understand heavy punch does that. Mm -hmm. I think she has um, target combos on both. Oh, word. I've, yeah, I've, been, I've been watching these videos. Uh, Rufo Manga videos. I think mm -hmm. he... I think um no I, I'm not was it a roof monger no 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 it was um jammers jammers was yeah, talking about yeah. that roof monger was talking about Lily interesting yeah I've seen <laughs> those videos I haven't gotten to go through all of them. yeah yeah they they they're pretty um they're pretty long they had a limited amount of time with the game so they talked about what they can there's like the sections off too like if you watch the roof monger ones they like the specific sections where he talked about each move and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you say you play Grappler, so he, I know he went into detail on Lily specifically. I'm not sure if he did keep as well. I'm pretty. He might have done. He, he, you know. Like, gotcha. sure. Okay. And yeah. then Jammer just yeah. did Manon. Nice. Yeah, I'm stoked. Street Fighter Six is really nice visually, which I'm kind of excited for. It's a big mm -hmm. step up from previous games. It'll be cool. Really excited. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was messing with um job, some Ryu the last couple of days off it. A lot of his meaty setups and whatnot. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like I felt like I was doing obviously, you know, you could you know, there's options against it right? for meaties, right? But like I felt like I could just do whatever I wanted. Like I was finding meaties and the things I'm like, yo, I would just like, you know, like, so like there's so many options that I'm like, I'm just freestyling. Mm -hmm. And and I like that feeling. Yeah, when you get to flow, it just feels so good, right? When the game's natural like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, in higher levels, like, there, there will be restrictions because of skill, what you, what options you can do. But I, but I like the feeling of like less restrictions. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hold on, is it minus Jason? Yes. Oh, I'm looking at the the. the I was like, yeah, I can't read that. Okay, please, that's it. <laughs> that's not English. Yeah, it could be, it, it, well, it could be English, but, you know, yeah, I don't know. I know a few people in Pulse Art who change their Steam names to be in Japanese just because they get more matches and people are more forgiving about bad connections. <laughs> people are way too excited to play Japanese players. And admittedly, they, it's cool. Are, are they gimmicking gimmick people out? Like, oh my god, he was so good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I played these six years, he's got a 30 millisecond connection. Oh my god. And then when you realize, you know, they're American or North American, mm -hmm. it's on Wi Fi. Yup, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I saw every single frame of the match, but that guy was so good. I love so playing sick. against his Zappa. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, yo, it might have been 200 MS, it might have been Zappa. We might have gotten dog every time, but it was sick. Dude, that guy was so cool. Dude, it felt like I was getting macro, but like, you know, they're just <laughs> built different over there. <laughs> Dude, they're just better. More dedicated to the grind. Yo, the grind set? Yo, and they played the whole set under that connection, man. I can never. I can never. They're, they're, uh, they're a hero. Apparently, if, yeah, I could not run the set in those circumstances. <laughs> like, if, if I see a guy and it's like, oh shit, I got six rollback frames, like, ah oh, man, I gotta go eat suddenly. Yeah, I gotta go walk my dog. Like, yeah, it, I'm done for it. That's unplayable. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, that was barely tested, but that was so fun. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Also, all that damage, that was what, two combos for all that? Okay, yep, plus again, low. Oh, and the whip punish with the hover dash heavy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Jason got better at perfect or near perfect in there, but Minus is just not impressed. Mm. Staying strong, keeping it going. Heaven or hell, do it. Yeah, I mean, both these guys are definitely uh, veterans of, of guilty. Mm. Yes, so, so and, and, and even with the changes to, to Eno, you're gonna understand Eno, and you know, whatever changes to Eno, so you're gonna understand so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 The thing is, yeah. though, like, I, Edgar definitely benefited, you know, way more than it. Like, this version right now benefited, you know, way more than it benefited itself. Because, yeah. you know, kind of like, well, what, because of, like, why I see, like, how you get, like, 50 50 that, oh, you can't really count. Yeah, some of this no stuff is super grimy, too. <laughs> And then also, the follow-ups are really nice. Top system change, consistent character change, does help. Oh, yeah, that the air command grab, too. Like, we thought you needed that. But, yeah. This is Daisuke's vision. That is fine. He needs his eyes checked. No, it wasn't. Um, who worked on um, this? Hachi. Oh, that's right. This was Hachi's vision. Ah, Hachi's vision. Tech I, I, I'm not gonna lie though, I, I kinda like Pachi. Pachi's vision is pretty good, I'm gonna be real. Yo, when Pachi went to Grand Blue, Pachi gave me like a fairy, and then she had like Elfo focus, and I was like, this is Pachi's vision. That's a message for you. It says keep playing. He said, was this, like, is what, this was for you, man. I'm here for you. I, I felt like it was for me. I was like, I was like, the music's great, she's cheap, she's wearing Elfo focus. Like, this is, this is the gift. This is the gift for you. Mm -hmm. nice, nice. Speaking of air tech buttons, who's excited for Project L? <laughs> Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'm in there. Is there, cool. uh, is there air tech buttons in that game? I'm pretty positive in like one of the trailers, I saw air tech buttons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So give me some kind of mm -hmm. Yeah, for surely. I mean, I mean, if you're from from Rev, you, you definitely know about that. Whether you enjoy it or not, mm -hmm. yeah, you definitely know a, a little bit about air tech buttons in that. I, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think everybody that's ever lost a tournament match knows about air tech buttons. Oh, oh, oh for better or worse, I think Project L will be more casual than anybody really can. At, at the bottom floor, I think the floor will be incredibly low, and then maybe this year will be crazy high. But it's it's gonna be free to play. I bet it's gonna be you know in the riot launcher. Like it's there's gonna be millions of people that download it. Day one. So like, oh yeah, the the floor has to be literally on the floor. The one thing I'll be very curious about is oh wait, what a what a conversion. I was gonna I, say I, I, nasty reset. Yo, that conversion was so sick, it lost my train of thought. Hold on, hold on. Minus is cooking right now. Minus is yeah, cooking. Damn it. Let him go. Oh, oh, didn't bait for that angle. Sad. Minus super. Oh, oh wait. My bad. I Hold on. Jason R's cooking. He's got his. His guess for game. YRC. Oh, wait. Oh. Dash is under the. Oh, that, bets it all on the DP. That 6H in the DP was dastardly. He was cooking something evil with that. <laughs> I had no clue what he was cooking, but he was cooking. Uh. Season 1 fairy was a cheater character. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, but she's cool, so... She was pretty cool. And then she had, like, cool set play. I mean, I'm sure she still has, like, set play, but, you know. Mm -hmm. In 97 beats. Ohio, yeah. you need a good book. <laughs> Yeah, back to Project L, I will say, the one thing I'm really excited for, this is the one thing Riot can do no wrong about. Mm -hmm. Big red button that says play. 
don't give me, you know, 700 matchmaking menus. Don't give me some convoluted nonsense. Don't give me a ranked system that doesn't make sense. Don't give me oh. platformers instead of lobbies. Uh, <laughs> Big red button that says play. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I, all right. So in terms of menus, I got bad news for you. <laughs> it's over. I know it's over. <laughs> they're, they're definitely not giving you a lobby system. Thank God. But, okay. you know, if you look at, say, Valorant, mm -hmm. you hit play and then you're immediately hit with what is it? Five menus, Yoast? We have Swift yeah. play, uh, regular play, ranked play, um, uh, as not Ascent. What's the, the bomb? I mean, I mean, the UI is better oh, yeah. now. It used to be horrible. It, was it used bad. to be horrible, but now it's good because now it hits you with like play. It has play and then like your career, your collection and everything, mm -hmm. the store. But as soon as you press play, there's like a little sidebar that says uh, unranked, ranked, and then the side modes. Instead of all the side modes being in one queue, it's just four separate queues, <laughs> which is a little funky. I would prefer if they, they had it all in a separate queue and then like a, a deathmatch queue. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see if the matchmaking gods smile upon us. Um, I hope. Like, I, I, I mean, I think that that really makes or breaks games how the matchmaking is. Like, like, forget about the netcode. I don't think we have to worry about the netcode. Like, um, you know, the the Cannon Brothers made GGPO, so like, so we already know we get we would be getting rollback netcode. Yeah, we're in good hands for that. For sure. Yeah, so so that's not a problem in itself, right? And um, but um, the matchmaking is um kind of kind of like the issue we have with KOF fifteen. I'd love to play the game, you know, but sometimes I don't get, you know, when I don't get matches for like twenty minutes. Hmm. The yeah, the connection the parts great with Riot. Like my one of my favorite additions that they had in Valorant when I was running tournaments for it is that when you make a custom game. It a shows everybody ping everybody's ping to the selected it's server, it's and amazing. you can then change the server for that specific game. So like, mm. if you know one player has like 120 ping in the Austin server, but then you change it to like, I don't know, like the Midwest server, whatever city that is, Chicago probably, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden everybody's about equal at like 60 versus like a huge disparity. Mm. So it's like that probably won't be how the fighting game works just because you know 1v1 versus 5v5 is, is a lot you know more bandwidth yeah but it it it's gonna be crisp it's gonna work let's put it that way mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure we're in good hands i know um, i like i like versus games so so that aspect is already cool mm -hmm. in itself and then you know I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really play like the game that a lot of these characters are based on, right? I'm a fighting game player, right? So I didn't really play the game or whatnot, right? But I'm intrigued. I, I saw a lot of things, like a lot of tools being used, like, you know, the, the rewind mechanic that mm -hmm. that kid had and other tools. And I'm like, they look really unique. And how well it's, tra it's translating into a fighting game. Yeah, and I'm really then, glad they're letting the mechanics just kind of ball out, do cool stuff with it. Mm -hmm. I I really hope that the Project L, like Project L as a whole, takes like the lessons learned from not just like um, Grand Blue DNF, but like Rising Thunder as well, mm. and like tries to implement that in a way that can still have like that champion of a uh, like good combo potential and like player expression type of feel because I know a lot of people are concerned about player expression when it comes to like simple input fighting games but mm -hmm. at the end of the day simple input doesn't really in my opinion have like too much credence on that and people mm -hmm. who are dedicated will be dedicated no matter what yeah I mean at a certain at a certain level like like for instance at the highest level most most like high top level players aren't hindered by the difficulty of things in the first place if somebody if somebody's dedicated enough, right? They're gonna be doing it. and simplifying that doesn't really change that either, you know, like like most high level players, they wouldn't even feel the difficulty. Like, oh this is just how, you know, I play my character, you know? So I, I think I don't really 
I think simplifying it just like it helps out players that don't really have the time. To Not only that, but like, say you have two inputs in a game. Mm. You have the complicated, mm. high skill input, and then you have the easy input. They do mm. identical things. Oh, everyone same damage, the same stun. Yeah, the the number one player in the world is right. gonna do the easy input. Of course, of right? Course. Like they're not gonna they're not gonna risk doing that. The you know skillful quote unquote Funny enough, input. Speaking about that, I heard for Street Fighter Six that Japanese player has been playing modern control. I have seen some cheekiness with the modern yeah. controls around like you know um, critical arts and things like that. Yeah, uh, that I, kind of I, cheap honestly, it out. I think, um, Alright, so like Alpha 3 had like, or like we'll say CBS2, right? All right, because m- most people know more about CBS2 than they know about Alpha 3 in general, right? But, be- but basically, they both have like groups, or like you could pick a different version of a character, like the parry group version, you know, mm-hmm. the version that has three stocks, like super, and there's the KOF version, whatever, right? And then the stocks are kind of different. So the way that tiers worked in that game, right? Like, it would be like, alright, if like, Bison was the best character in the game. It was like eight group Bison, the one with custom combos, right? And then it would go down like the list of characters, and then like the next tier would be like, oh, like say, say if like 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 C group, like K group. I think K group Sagat was the best version of Sagat, and then C group Sagat was the second best version. I think that might, there might be a possibility of tiers changing depending on like which you're using, whether you're using modern or classic controls like a character might just end up having something that's really good in modern controls well there's also the dynamic control function right where it Mm -hmm. it's you know a little bit i don't i don't want to say more simplified than modern but it like the the game's ai or whatever like helps decide which you know input slash move should be coming out as like on Mm -hmm. the fly so it's like I, I don't think that's in the beta, I don't think. But it's it's something um, that they've talked about. So I don't, I don't know if we can use that. Yeah, that's one of the things that we haven't really seen, to my knowledge anyway, footage of. Um, but yeah, I mean, Modern's, Modern's an interesting take. I think it'll be fun uh, for the handheld gamers, right? Mm-hmm. Like the people that are playing Street Fighter Six on their Steam Deck and like things like that, where, you know you're not exactly in the best situation to be playing like you also know. you know what they did um i guess it's to help um because i was speaking to someone yesterday at nlbc right and mm-hmm. then we're on the demo and he's talking about are they okay so they added you know how modern controls have the assist button right so you press it doesn't really do anything when you hit the button right but you hold it press another button it does stuff right yeah it's like With a button, uh, it could, a modifier key yeah yeah, yeah. so ba- basically there's an assist button on like the regular um classic controls too but it doesn't do anything but let's just say you press that button and you press any other button like like attack and you say you want to do fireball you'll get ex fireball Mm -hmm. so so, and and they and they did that because like on the the ps5 controller it's kind of difficult to press two buttons like that like if you don't want to play like this but you want to hold the, the controller like the regular way, like like this. So my hands are like like that. So you have like one of the triggers could be the assist button, and so now you hold that down. You press like fireball and light punch. You get ex fireball. Hmm, that's interesting. <clears throat> yeah, and and like you know, specifically, it doesn't do anything else but make whatever you press afterwards three punches or three kicks. <clears throat> Actually, speaking of three punches, three kicks, they also removed uh, mash inputs, right? Like we we um, saw yeah, that yeah, with like, all um, the footage. So it's like you know, hundred hand slap, and electricity. Yeah, the electricity. On. Yeah. Which like um, I know they removed um, Chun Li's in five. So like yeah, lightning lines. And people weren't it, you know that oh, pissed about well, it. Well, they they did and didn't in five. Like I think I think you'd still do them in five, no? But you can also. I feel like you can do them still. I might be wrong. Yeah, I remember. So you know the um, in filament like fighting game glossary. Yeah. 
I was the hand cam for some of them, including <laughs> mash inputs. And before that, I was like, it's just a mash input. How hard can it be? And then I was like, and then I learned, I was like, oh, you need to hit them in a particular order, in a particular sequence. You right. gotta end on the button you want. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, like, like they're they're not easy. And then like some of them, like you gotta do reverse piano. Yeah. Like there was one where it was like light, heavy, medium, light, medium. That pattern killed my hands. But it was fun. It was great learning it. It was a cool experience. But wow, so different from what I had expected. Like, like if you play like CBS2, like, all right, so I, I don't really have a problem with with um with mashing moves becoming emotion, right? Because what ends up happening anyways is that like they're gonna walk forward and do it anyways. But I would have a problem per se, like if if like Ed's like if Ed's like one two three has a disjointed hurt box like it does in five, but now he's not mashing to do it. Now he's mm -hmm. just doing two three sixes. And then I'm like, oh, word. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would have a problem with that. And then, um. So you're, you were kind of right on the lightning legs in five. It is to start it, it's quarter circle kicks. But then if you keep pressing it, it, it changes. Or it says, okay. it does, it, actually, maybe that's wrong. Cause it, I'm looking at the Capcom website and it says, uh, 236 kick or kick repeat button. Or match. Yeah, I, I remember because okay. I, I know I know Honda, you know, is just math, right? I remember mm -hmm. Chun Li being like she had the option to do two, three, six kick or match. We've got a new color. Which, which I was like, oh, I was like, that's that's a weird option. I mean, to, to be fair, like I don't really see a problem with that being that way for all characters in six. Like, mm -hmm. why why couldn't Honda have mash hands or two, three, six hands? You know, like. Not that you would need. They probably even like, no, I'm not gonna program this. If I'm gonna put two, three, six hands in there, like you know, it's in there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was just there because of a, a comfort thing, or or maybe maybe when they were when they did when they made Chun Li, they were like, all right, we don't we they weren't too sure, so they were trying something out to see if two, three, six for legs was cool, or mm -hmm. man, so, oh, but they didn't want to fully commit, and they they were like, all right, we're gonna put in the old way. And we're all gonna put in a new way. And then what I guess when it got to when it got to Honda, Honda, his jab hands are plus. So they were like, no, nah, we don't want him to have like a plus two hands and have him doing two three sixes and walking up and doing hands. We want yeah. him to do it. Right. So like I, I I think if like you get a really big reward for your match for your move, like lightning, like electricity or hands, like your plus, I think that maybe that should be mashing instead of a two three six or so well, there like the hands are negative for the most part i believe it's okay. six um, okay so yeah yeah, yeah. like if, if they're negative like I, I well i'm not really sure about blanca because I, I all i know is about how he was in five where he was doing electricity and they were plus yeah right? he also had mm -hmm. the was it v trigger two or v skill two where he could charge it or was that always in there i don't remember That's, what the ground pound yeah where he like yeah, where he he charges up the electricity and he can do a bigger burst of electricity. Um, that's V skill too. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't blame you for not knowing about Blanca. Who knows about Blanca? The Blanca players. <laughs> there's <laughs> there's one in Utah. Um, hmm. what the heck's his name? He he, I can't remember his name. He's friends with Tom Winkley. Um. And so we always end up talking about Blanca. That's how they do, um, like, Jingle Jam and stuff like that was because of the Blanca. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, there, there are some people that know about Blanca, but it's, yeah. Most people just know about Blanca-chan costume. Mm, yeah. And now everybody gets their own little Blanca-chans to be, you know, thrown around. For real, you get, um, you get three of them per, per round. Yes, yeah, per round, yeah. Yeah, 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 because yeah. <laughs> um, there's no way to, what I know is that there's no way to like get them back yeah, yeah. Them all in you just that get round. your three yeah you just get the three uh i mean they look i don't know how like strong they are for set play but from what i see is like they're definitely good for skipping neutral it'll be interesting like, if you're trying to keep you're trying to keep them out you're like oh you're full screen i'm in but... it'll be it'll be interesting to see how it compares to like some other titles right like if you look at 
Uh, like, look at Mini Faust in Strive, right? The that usage can either be great or just worthless, yeah. right? Like, everybody's seen the one time where it's like, you get Mini Faust, he procs, and then he just walks away. Like, in the complete mm. opposite direction. Yeah, it can happen. He's just not interested. He's got better things to do. Apparently, he's got places to be. Yeah. Thank Thankfully, the, the Blancachans just, they just seem to go one way. They don't, they always march forward. It seems. Yeah. I mean, they have like different formations too, depending on how you activate them. But it has to be electrified. Yeah, you can like bounce yeah. and stuff like that. And then, but the thing is though, like what I know is that um, you have to do an EX electricity to get them to start bouncing like the the sine waves. Right. Yep, I know. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so I know you to get to do something really interesting, you need it requires meter. Which meter is going to be just inherently interesting, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, with the drive gauge system now, it's it's a lot different than just you know your critical art bar and stuff like that, which mm. you now also have a critical art bar to pay attention to. So it, it'll I be mean, interesting. I, I think mean, it's yeah, going to take definitely... a minute to really hammer down. Uh, yeah, I think so too. I think there's going to be burnouts all over the place when the game yeah. right comes out. <laughs> I mean, some people are like planning around it, right? Like, there, mm. there are already people talking about how like that's the optimal, you know, way to play. If you can, you know, get significant damage, or if you can close a round, then just go for the burnout, which makes sense, right? Yeah. Like, if you end the round, well, who cares if you're in burnout? The, the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if you burn out before someone dies, then then you might have problems. If, yeah. If they if they um reverse the offense. Just yeah, be better. Honestly, yeah, it's probably going to come down to like riding that edge, right? Like, how close can you get without doing it? I, don't, I think I think there's going to be a whole bunch of different philosophies. Do I mm -hmm. go for max damage all the time? Like, and then press my luck, go, go, I'm burn out, keep on trying to go on offense, don't ever let them play type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Or do I do I use an EX one time, be very conservative afterwards, try to get back to a certain level, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure some people will just hold on to it the entire time for when they're on the back. Oh yeah, and then, 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 then it's the third one, the mm -hmm. people that are so afraid to even use the tool in, in the first place. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm sure that we're going to see a fair amount of all three of those those styles of play. There may even be a, more styles of play beyond that. Yeah, I think I'll, it'll be a lot of character and player expression allowed, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, as you said, we already have character expression because the characters all so definitely. far have felt really nice. But then even one thing I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to is that um, playing five, you know, like this, this is the best season of the game, you know, like one of yeah. the better seasons of the game. Pretty good, pretty good at, at spot. I'm not like criticizing the game as far as it is. I'm like, all right. It's in a pretty good spot, decently balanced, top to bottom. Some characters have horrible matchups, but you know, what can you do? Okay, right? there's less. I think there's less seven three matchups in Street Fighter Five than I've ever seen in any other Street Fighter. Right? Yeah. So, so that, I think that's pretty good balance. Like, if you can get it that way. But like, one of the the, the major things I, the major criticisms was like a lack of expression, and that it was like. And especially with a game that's more simple, like five was, right? There is there's there's usually less right answers. So like so like there's like maybe one or two correct ways to play, one really correct way to play, but maybe two like one, two or three very good ways to play to like win. This is what you should be doing, you know, like and I feel like I want six to have like multiple ways that oh this this could be right also. Mm -hmm. Right, and this was a good decision, like blah blah blah. And then I'll, I want even unconventional things to be like, oh, this was the right answer, because like whatever, like I had to think outside the box and do other things like that. Like a lot of a lot of things that I lost in five because it became so mathematical. The play, yeah. That. So and, and that's just a product of the game being around for such a long time. I mean, that game yeah. had a huge lifespan. <laughs> oh, definitely. 
saw the comment about 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 Raven have Rav two players really convinced themselves that Raven is okay now. It's like fine-ish. I, I think Raven's quite good. Not like crazy ridiculous, but like I, I oh, want to know. I just want to know. Bro. Okay, do they mean okay as in like still a good character, or okay as in like oh he's he's like okay to fight against. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I got into gear and fighting mm -hmm. games in general pretty late, so I missed like Raven's Reign of Terror early in Exert stuff like that. But oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, not busted. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, people are definitely still scared of him. He has quite the reputation. Yeah, he's not as busted as he was when he first came out. Mm -hmm. es especially when um, I went what Kazunoko was abusing, like oh, when yeah. he hit you with like OTGs, and then he'd IED afterwards. And if you teched up, you it was an auto air grab. Yeah, that stuff was pretty ridiculous. I mean, the Manila Cup footage is pretty infamous now of him just rolling through grand finals over mm -hmm. a time down. Yeah, it's brutal. But that, um, Kasunoko is a, a good a player to look at if you want to, because like, like not to like you know you know not talk down on his, his skill. He's a very skilled player, right? Mm -hmm. But usually, usually when he plays, he's not doing the most optimal things. That's not what he's playing for. His his hit, and this is uh, going back to like, oh, what's the right way to play? What's the wrong way to play? Right? Mm -hmm. I want I want that line to be blurred more. Like for instance. When you play, like, you know, what's the right combo to go for? This is the best damage. You should always go for this. But, like, I, mm -hmm. I would, like, oh, no, but, but as opposed to this situation is better. Right? Like, dropping damage. I, I like I like situations where the player has to make a decision on what they mm -hmm. want to do. Right? But, like, and the Kazunoko is the type of player that's, like, he's, he's not tremendously interested in the max damage or the most optimal damage or most optimal combos. He's, like, what keeps me attacking and getting back in to run pressure over and over again yeah and then just what keeps you on your back so i can do my thing exactly we and that's that's the other style other. of play that he does and then he's he's a really good indicator of a character like that because he usually picks characters that do that really well so if you that's mm -hmm. your style of play but maybe kazunoko is your leash i don't know yeah especially if you're looking for like it's kind of a low investment really? way to play a game, right? right? If you don't want to spend a million years on a character, if you're not a specialist, agreed. Find out who Kazunoko plays. Try them out. They're probably going to be simple and effective. Yeah, yeah. To the point. To the point. Characters like they get in, they play their game, and they and they maul you. Mm -hmm. Right now on screen, we got Yosagi versus Minus. So nice. Yosagi still still rocking Amelia, which you know you guys mentioned may change. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, sure extremely clean. Yeah, like, um, she's definitely a, a very good character. Like, I, as you can see, going for, like, some of the more unsafe mix-ups, I say unsafe with quotation marks because nobody blocks TK badly. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if somebody would finally block it and punish it, that, that would be fine and dandy, but nobody does. So, like, Oh, but now Yosagi on the back foot. Yeah, great defense. Little pickup fails out, gets the air, converts it all the way to the other corner. But it's not already with that 6P. Oh, the empty down low. This could be that. Yeah, this is good, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Let's get the O3G. Yeah, I actually misses the O3G right there. But, like, I guess I guess we can get a pixel. He's like, oh no. I gotta try to fight back. I, I do not blame him to that. Yeah, for sure. Oh wow, blocks the roll through as well. Nice stuff. Alright, nice fuzzy jump there, but oh, the ankles are getting clipped now. Yeah, I think I think Chaz has recognized um, some of the defensive rounds, like um, the fuzzy jumping. Yeah, definitely just hunting for those fuzzy jumps. Great form. Oh, and, and as I was talking about, nobody lost TK Batman with minus Chojin Yeah, it's been done. It has been done. Brutal. Yeah, that was cheap. Alright, man. Empty low OGD, yep. Nice, OGG stroke. Good awareness. Don't even give Yosagi that extra chance to dead angle or blitz or super or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, you, yeah, you definitely don't want to like once once you have a character like Nomia down in the corner, right? Like, and you know both these damages, you can't let her get up. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah, and you see that those fuzzy jumps also. The bait too. Yeah, we're getting knocked down. Like that that first bar is swimpy. Like oh, oh wow. yeah, you can't you can't burst that. Yeah, Yosagi says I'll do you a favor. Here's my burst. Yeah, so, they, you know, uneven footing. It's crazy how Usagi's burst was like empty um, because because she was getting hit, she got way more burst bar than Eno did. We lost her burst like 15 seconds earlier. Yeah, Minus has been winning too hard to get burst back. He, it, he made, I, I honestly think that it's possible that this whole set can be done, this whole game can be done, and he never get a burst back. Yeah, very, very possible. I, I mean, fortunately for him, like, Milia is kind of like by a thousand clicks, unless you get hit by the really, yeah. the really optimal things. So, because because of a character like that, you might be able to get the back. <laughs> oh no! Wow, what a round start! Oh, it drops the ID. Yeah, sad. I mean, it, not if you're Yusagi. Yeah, true. Yusagi's very happy with that. Yeah, because like, you don't want to get knocked down by... But, well, neither of these characters want to get knocked down. <laughs> That neither of them are known for their reverse lock. Yeah. Actually, actually, that's not really true. Yeah, Eno, Eno, does, Eno does have vertical chemical love. What is it like? Not for, it's not frame one, it's airborne. It's like frame two. Yeah, two or three. Or if your meaties are not unlocked. And it low crushes is the other thing. Yeah. Low crushes frame one. And then, yeah, yeah, she has things like that. And plus, like, her, her, her overdrive is really good. Like, you can throw it, but, like, good luck. Yeah, and they're plus. So like, that, like we just saw in situations like that, you can just dial it in after a mix-up. If they get hit, it's a ton of damage. If they block, you get another mix-up. All right, I'm running it again with the bad moon. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you blocked it. So what? I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, that's something I really like about Yosagi's style is it's very insistent, right? Yosagi's not gonna get scared off of using a known good option. Yeah, like, like. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta show me him block. <laughs> yeah, and like that, you know, no punish, so he can two scare over it. My 6P, wow! That is on point for the vampires. Hmm, it's a throw. Uh, oh, good old one frame grabs. Ow! Yeah, there's the jump to dust. Like, she's not gonna die, but... Oh, that, yeah, that was a tech trap. <laughs> Drawing the little setup. Nice pickup, though. Oh, that's the rest of the combo. Yeah, I oh. spoke too soon. My bad. Nice. Air to air. I have to block the, the, the bad boom, but what, it was the height was so awkward that because like, like you know, like, I I would assume that nobody ever sees if someone do a bad boom in that in a particular frame like that. <laughs> and then the bounce when she bounced off was like very awkward. Yeah. Whoa! I actually got the recovery. Of, um, of, yeah, well, YRC. YRC does have recovery, so it's like you're like me, you know. You can't hit them. You try to hit there for sure. Nice conversion over the ball. Wow! Look at that. They're kind of, you know, around each other. She got some range. Yeah, for real. Yeah, then one of the one that that burst right there. The high was off. Nice. Wow! Wake up 5 age. So I mean. Not happy with Minus's pressure. <laughs> I mean, that's another, that's a million. Well, I think both these characters get bonuses for trying to get grabs. For failing to throw. Because, like, Eno has six heavy which is like seven, I think, or is it five? I think it's seven. Something like that, yeah. Crazy yeah. fast, super rewarding. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it might be seven, it might be five, whatever. It's pretty fast, right? And then, and then Milia, that, 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 that um, standing heavy. Like the back row, yeah, like it yeah. Just up so many times, and then you saw you can get converted in like that too. Oh, not even sure. Probably try to uh, to catch a fuzzy jump, which was yeah. something smart you didn't do. Yeah, look at the awareness for minus. You can stroke to go right under the kind of reestablishing block pressure. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. I get to pick up this. Oh no! Pin. Oh. oh. Oh, I think I think Minus missed the dive, bro. Either mm -hmm. way, that's dead. All right, Usagi takes that. Yeah, 
good stuff. Yeah, and that's it for Usagi's favor. Mm -hmm. It was a yeah. close match. Whatever I said about the Milia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. That's mm. my bad. Uh, yeah, like, the thing about Milia, Milia's this type of character, you know, like, well, they both are. They knock you down. You gotta guess. And at that point in time, right, it's, it's, it's really up to, can you defend properly? Like, can you even play your game? Mm -hmm. And then if you're not dealing with how she gets in, like, pin, you're not dealing with, like, how she like tries to repressure like we run up grabs and whatnot because there's a lot of like taking throws with it too she gets a grab she gets a mix mm -hmm. up she gets a pin she gets to pressure you right yeah for sure there's a bunch I of think... things that you just have to be able to deal with yeah and some of it also kind of we i think minus saw this as well we saw yosagi going for a lot of fuzzy jumps and things like that but mm -hmm. minus couldn't quite shut it down even if i think you know he had his eyes on the prize he knew what was going on but couldn't quite stop it yeah, like, I mean, there's always any other options that they're going to go to, like players, right? So then if you might shut one option down, then they go to a different option that that you, whatever you're doing is not shutting down, right? So like, and then you start cycling through your options and what you, sh you should do, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of defensive options. Even if your character doesn't have a DP, you have backdash, you have blitz, right? You have throw, which is one frame. You can abare. Yeah. With, with attacks in general, you know, like you fuzzy jump, as you were saying before too, dead angle first. So like it, and 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 you know the maybe more more rare option would be to super overdrive, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, with all those options, like when you say that character doesn't have defensive options, like nah, I just said like almost eight of them there. I might have said eight. I yeah, know, I don't count, right? And that's that's without having a DP. Yeah, it's amazing how much Milia can represent just on defense. She's so squirrely. That character is ridiculously hard to pin down. Overall. Yeah, and then, and then also like character sizes too. Milia is a small character. Yeah, so she has a great FD jump. Her air dashes can be a little harder to stop. She has she's the highest very, super jump. Yeah, very small when she's running. She can run under a lot of things, and uh, and she low profiles very well. That's like that's also part of your character's defense. And I think um. It can be very difficult to pin down a lot of times. Like, like you look at Faust, Faust notoriously difficult to like Oki properly because of crawl. Mm -hmm. In general, you crawl under a lot of delayed um, air dashes, right? Which a lot of people will sometimes backdash, and then Faust players will like six p os throw, which will mm -hmm. like if you jump, you're, you're gonna get clipped. If you if you if you're not close enough to throw, you're gonna get clipped, and then. They'll they'll do that. They'll backdash. They'll crawl to just straight up just walk, right? Yeah. And then you you might miss things, and then on top of that, plus all the other options that everyone has available too. Yeah, there's so much you got to deal with at any given time. And then of course we saw the flip side of it was when minus slow down a little bit to try and deal with those options. Oops, wake up five H. Yep. Right. Just felt like minus kind of couldn't quite strike that balance. Yeah, it's uh, it's, I mean, it's super interesting, high, high-paced matchup that, from both sides, you know, like, and a lot of times, like, maybe, maybe it's like, all right, like at a certain point, you're just kind of reacting and be like, oh, I'm just trying to guess what this person's gonna do, where they're gonna be, mm -hmm. and then, and I saw like a lot of hard reach from both players, it. like, like the run-up double TK move, yeah, like oh, you blocked the first time, you're not gonna block the second, second time, or whatever, right? A lot of things like that. <laughs> much has like nah I'm just rusty <laughs> I respect it I respect it hey uh, who's not you know, paying a little bit of rust you, I'm with it you were dropping a lot of the OS's with the, the air command grab I saw it I saw it yeah. I witnessed it yeah it happens you're looking good though good stuff keep it up minus so are you gonna be at combo breaker are you gonna be there yes minus yes. yeah it's still a very good showing, and a really, really cool set, kind of showing two very different approaches to smothering offense like that. Not this year? Ah, oh, sad. It happened. <clears throat> yeah, such is life. Mm. Um, we can have like a viewing party, Chad. Come on, let's go to let's go to that.
Yeah, we don't have any matches. We just have like. Nothing. Everybody <laughs> keeps going to their own lobby. Yeah, come on, guys. Stream lobby. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. It's it's not like when we run plus R because like plus R, you can make a sixty four person mm -hmm. lobby. Yeah. And just like set it to random, which is it's super hectic because you'll get like one game of like Jason Riot versus somebody. And then it'll swap to like two completely different players. So like you'll never get the full, you know, first to two story. Uh, but it's just it's just games for, for multiple hours. And it's mm. I like running plus R because like it feels like every player that enters the ladder plays like double digit games in, in the two yeah. hours that we allot them. Um, and so I'll pull up the the start the top of the start GG here. Wow, uh, Crocs so, going seven oh. So that I'm refreshing it, so that might change. Oh, my refresh oh, okay. page. It's going to change to like 12 0. <laughs> <laughs> nope, still 7 0. That all makes right, sense. Right. Um, How many people are in the ladder? So, 13. Displaying okay. 1 of 13, or 1 through 13. Um, so, like, we have was like. That, was that Malik the Dark? Go down. Let me see, see his face. Yes, it is. <laughs> Malik the Dark. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, like, there's there's some people that are just straight gaming, right? Like, we got Joy mm -hmm. playing 10 games. Wow. Let's go, Joy. Jason's up to eight. Minus, who said yeah, they were having trouble nine. getting games, uh, is sitting at nine, too, which is, which is, it's a lot. Like, that's, that's towards the higher end amount of matches that we see played. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I think we're, with the exception of Tre uh, Teddy, Jason... And Joy, I think we're pretty much locked in for like top five at least, mm -hmm. right? Because like we have obviously seven and zero, six and zero, mm -hmm. six and two and threes are probably pretty untouchable um, unless minus gets matched up against like perfectly balanced and wins, then it gets mm -hmm. awkward. Teddy's like, pretty locked, and Spectrum's also pretty locked. Um, I only say Teddy because they actually played someone, but the match on start went away all oh, right and so they should be four four right now so they're actually hanging around spectrum oh, uh, like right below spectrum yeah three so teddy's three four to spectrum's three three yeah i'm saying teddy should be four four oh, okay yeah, yeah. so um, they so they'll be in like seventh so and jason's my, yeah. eighth Minus saying in chat that they've played everybody. I know that Bunch made a change last week, this week, and how the, the matchmaking works for these, um, in that you shouldn't play someone, you shouldn't play a repeat player if there's mm -hmm. still new players left to play. Nice. Um, mm. And I don't know if that potentially means that, like, because we have 13 people here, if these bottom two are no longer joining so the way that it the way that it happens is like if you play someone in the way that he set it up is that if you play someone in the ladder you won't play them again in the ladder so you won't like, like get double up yeah no mm -hmm. that's the way that it's set up so we might have to change that if there's like low attendance so it'll be like at least a 30 minute timer or an hour timer so you'll still get a rematch, but it won't be like too often. Yeah, because like look at look at what Minus is saying, and that they've been sitting in the the queue for the queue. a few minutes now. Oh yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, Melty Blood and Muddy, they're still at 0 and 2. So I'm thinking that they they're not hitting matchmake anymore. Muddy um, joined super late, and Melty Blood left, to right. my knowledge. Yeah. Oh. So like if you you know if if Minus has played everybody else that is also currently in matchmaking then we might have you know we might have basically just hit the limit uh for this this mm -hmm. round but there's also only three minutes left in the ladder format because we do close the ladder at 8 55 yeah. uh so that way we can get you know the the top eight set up which i'll pull up what the format is so that chat can see because i know chat sometimes asks this question we'll take the top eight players from the ladder and they all start on winners. So round one of top eight, everybody's in winners. And after that, we do a traditional top eight of winners and loser side. Mm -hmm. And again, I think the biggest um, question mark here when it comes 
two losers is Joy, Jason, and Teddy. Yeah. And that'll like affect some seeding. I don't know if Joy's playing anymore, so it'll really just be like, oh, who gets seven and who gets eight okay. for Jason and Teddy, because both of them have been uh, playing pretty much this whole time. Yeah. Which for round one is just it's just seeding wise, right? Like if yeah. Eighth, you have to play against Crocs pretty much like that's mm. that's just yeah. done and dusted whereas if you get seventh you get to play um i forget who is in second uh karma Quan. karma yeah so <laughs> like which i mean they're still six and up oh, right so it's still not an easy matchup <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and final sets are rocking right about now i'm gonna close the queue um, pretty much everybody Spectrum above is locked in. It, like I said, it's really between Joy, Jason, and Teddy so for that it says final two spots. It does say Teddy's in a game against Crocs. Oh, I see. Spectrum mm -hmm. is in progress against Perfectly Balanced. Okay. And... and Jason just beat Muddy. Yeah, that one, that one says complete on our end. So it's just these two currently stating in progress. Um, All right, let me close the queue. So, Ghoul, that's fine. That, so honestly, that is why we run, you know, these, the, the ladder format for people like you who are trying to get back into the game and stuff like that, which we're just tuning in here. This might actually just be ranked. This might not be ladder. Well, ladder format is pretty cool because you get to play a lot of matches. Yeah, like yeah. that's that's what we wanted was for players to play a lot of matches because like when you run double OLM, some players only get to play two sets, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's like we've been doing that for the entire pandemic. Is you know somebody somebody goes zero and two, tough. We'll see you next week. Whereas like with the ladder, even if you go you know zero and twelve, you played twelve sets. Like that's great. Yeah. You can play exactly as much or as little as you want. And if it's like, oh, I need to get dinner, right? That doesn't break your experience if you're having a good run yet so far. Yeah, like you don't have to like hit up back. Yoast and be like, hey man, I got to dip for 20 minutes. Don't don't DQ me. It's like, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter. You have until 9 p.m. You got two hours to to you spare. Five so. games. You get mm -hmm. five sets minimum. Because mm. we, we had an issue where somebody made top eight with only three sets and we were like mm, oh man. no i can not, see that being problematic not doing that anymore they went three and oh so it's like they, they were you know getting bodied but we were still like the person right below you played nine sets what do you <laughs> what do you mean yeah <laughs> hey, that's not fair <laughs> yeah so that that is why we instituted the the minimum of five sets mm -hmm. we we haven't had an issue that was that was literally one issue uh and it was somebody that had also joined late, you know, very much like, um, you know, Muddy and, you know, other players like that. So mm -hmm. it is whatever you need. But I know last night uh, we had a player join. Um, I forget which player. Yost might remember. But somebody joined with only like 20, 25 minutes left in the ladder. And like their chat didn't think they would get the five sets needed. And mm -hmm. they got six sets in and made oh it to top God. eight. It was Mad Gear. <laughs> was it Mad Gear? Yeah. What a beast. We've got a new they, they play Abigail. They're like 10 second sets. It's it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it happens. <laughs> good, good. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I would have been playing the, the most neutral. <laughs> Imagine timer scamming someone on that level of like, no, you're not getting your five games. I'm no. going to make this take as long as possible. You're, you're not doing it. I might not be you, but, <laughs> but you're not, not winning win. either. You're not <laughs> winning either. We're both gonna lose. I mean, that That'd that's like 4D game. chess, honestly. Yeah, that is advanced hater behavior. <laughs> I never liked your character. Mm. So this is Minus versus Muddy on screen right now, and this might be, this should be the very last ladder match. Nice, good stuff. Oh, wow. We haven't seen Muddy play before today, have we? Uh, no, they played against... Um, Wasn't they, were they meeting like Raven or something? No, they, they played Sin earlier. They played okay. against, I think they played against... 
Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. they played against Bubba like two two sets ago. That was off. I remember because I wanted to mention how Sin is actually playable in this game compared to Strive. Yeah. Yes. This is on the future. Wait, he's pretty I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. it's still playing. Oh, it's still paying for the Sin game pass. Just like Potemkin. Pun intended. All or nothing. Yeah, like, oh. Whoa, oh, Temkin can hold that. He can, he'll be okay. Temkin is like my my project I mean, character in Plus R, and that I mean, Snake Eyes just won a tournament. True. Oh, but, I mean, Snake Eyes is both different. Snake Eyes is pretty different. I mean, that Street Fighter for me might have been true after all. Isn't he still rocking that like one of a kind custom controller that like Bull made for him? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, I would be rocking that all the time. Right? Yeah. Like, in that sense, he's quite literally built different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one is built like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like, like, special, like, 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 the, there's like individual, like, switches in, like, the controller buttons itself? Well, Something funky like that. It's a yeah. weird thing. I know it's it's kind of similar to I think the new Vitrix controller where it's got it, it's you know got D-pad and analog stick on the left and then the right side has all of the, the the buttons so it's got you know the six buttons where the thumb would go um, yeah compared to like a traditional pad that you know, only has the four and then the triggers but I I remember Snake Eyes is is also like the the grips are kind of kitty corner but the one the, the left grip is longer than the right grip. Mm. so it's like better for like oh, claw okay. position like whoa oh See, that, that was, was right under that that was oh yeah stroke definitely good for low profiling but it was, it was a little awkward for him there too like um he got the the jump really high so got grabbed on the way down Kind of like, you know, you know what that's called in Super Turbo? What's that? It's called a sack throw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will say, I'm, uh, I'm not seeing the rust. Mine is we're so worried about. Looking pretty good. Oh, never mind. All right, it happens. Bad bird. Oh, I actually thought he, he might have been trying to, to OS it there, but, um, you know. It was a bit far to throw. Oh yeah, and you know what Sin does have a really good backdash in this game, but it is very long as well. So fire you, you know, you can definitely Yeah, for sure. Whoa, got fuzzy off the dust, I think. Yeah, the dust fire C. The, the other problem is Sin's backdash is great for making space, but once you're back into the corner, there's too much less you can do. Oh yeah, 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 I mean, he covers a lot of distance, so you can definitely put yourself in the corner in terms of Yeah, for sure. I mean, we saw him a few times, but mine is just chase the back end twice. Mine was in the corner. Mine is about to get hurt. The question is, where do you do it? Why? Good the bar right there. Yeah, it needs to eat. Nice, there you go, man. Some damage. Wow, minus pressed, but good choice. Oh, almost a good blitz. Oh, oh. That was OTG. Yeah, OTG, so not that bad. Man, I guess it doesn't matter the speed if you're going to be I mean, I, I mean, I personally didn't really like the spot that was the first happened, but it helped him win right there because, because the minus thought it was a punish, but it was a OTG versus misidentified, I guess. Yeah, but Muddy's probably not getting that back. This would be just Muddy in the world against Dino's offense. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, since has got some good defense on, but we'll see how that pans out. Oh yeah, like, and the thing is that when you have a deep move, you know, see, you can, you can definitely spend them on it, spend the food on it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like you see you see um money going to Abari a lot of times because you know then you can do things. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Nice red RC for the pickup. Oh no. Oh fortunate draw. It's not over yet. Okay. Um, the challenge trying to fix what happened and I can see my stuff. Yeah. Oh, unable wow. Yeah, unable to recover. 
manages to piece that conversion back together. Alright, got one apiece. Heaven or hell. Duel, duel, one, one. Let's rock. Then decently difficult for you know this matchup because she does a lot of things to cover what she wants to travel. Yeah, Sin has such great space control. Yeah, like um, you can you can slide under Chemical Love and Full Punisher or something like that, or at least get him. like weak driver definitely with Flipper if you're trying to hover that and that six P and you get to it, it's, it's very tall. Yeah. Muddy is holding on to that. This might want to spend meters before spending this burst. I agree. Oh, you're going to need to burst, though. Oh, that, that was very difficult there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I said it. Oh, yes, it can burst. And again, the wake of option wire seems to still did not see it coming. Oh, and that's what we were talking about. Goes right under yeah. it. That's the thing, too. You have to be very aware of that, that move. Because um, because on the one hand you block it, and it's pretty safe. It's not. I don't think it's plus anymore. It used to be plus. <clears throat> but um, or uh, or like, or not as plus. I, I forgot what the actual frame date was, but I know there was a big thing to it. <clears throat> but um, but still, it's a very effective move. Very quick. You can you can use a heat or two to keep on like making it even more safe, or even add more frame traps like like record style. Mm. Just blocks in the play. Like, yeah, I mean, you finally got cracked open, but that was um, great defense. commendable defense. Yeah, lasting that long against Dino you know, offense is really <laughs> impressive. I see how blocks with the late overhead as well. There we go. And he's very good about sniping. Oh, yes, and here's the DP, too. Yeah, yeah, like, when you DP, if it's with the ball, you are just going to hit a state, let me tell you. Nice, the puck would be immediate, though. He had strokes under it, but he doesn't cover it. Nice cover that. And then, I, I, I feel like both these characters do a great job of just, like, destroying each other's too. Yeah, it's just kind of who picks what at what time. It's a very timing heavy matchup. Mm. Yeah, like like that that hover that hover dash just to get under the the elk hunt was like chef's kiss. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was, it was. If you're muddy, you, you, I'm sure you're not appreciating it very very much. But it was um, it was definitely uh, definitely a really good call. Out. Yeah, I, I think that call out really decided the set right there. Yeah, because then everything had to orient around, I know this option exists, and I know how to fight it, and that then felt like Muddy 